exactly right. Welcome, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday. Um, the thought I am working with today or just a kind of overarching idea is on meditation or pranayama and meditation being that process of calming the vrittis, right? The vrittis in the yoga sutras, the word implies or it is a term that refers to a whirlpool. Right, so that circling water that sucks you in and down, right? So that's the activity of the mind when it's out of control is it just runs and runs and runs and runs. The momentum of it is so strong that it can pull us down into a reality that isn't even happening, but we're sure that it is, right? It's that powerful. So we do the practices that we do in order to get that spinning of the mind to soften a little bit. And often that the way that we do that is we find focal points, right? That's what the process of meditation entails is that we find focal points for the mind to start to steady itself around. So instead of it just going off in all directions, it has one direction to steady itself around. So that's what we're practicing. And we're going to start with um, a mudra. And mudra is one of the ways to, again, regulate the pranic energy or to, again, give it a focal point. And it's one that specifically is for water, right? That's specifically for regulating the water in the body or the water the watery nature of the body and the mind. So it looks like this. You take the middle three fingers and squeeze them together, pointing straight up. And then the thumb and pinky finger are touching. So the tips of the thumb and pinky finger are touching. Middle three fingers point straight up, squeeze together. You can do it with one hand. You can do it with both, up to you. And then you can drop that onto your knees, onto your lap. It does not have to be held up this way. You can put it wherever you want. But that's the mudra we're beginning with. Varuna Mudra, named after the god of the ocean in the Hindu mythology. So as you come into your seat, let your eyes close. Just start to pay attention to your breath. As you pay attention to it, you feel the flow, tap into the flow of the inhale becoming the exhale, the exhale becoming the inhale. Then imagine that circle of the breath as it's coming through the nostrils, it rises all the way up, touches the third eye, so the space between the eyebrows. Then the exhale as it circles all the way back out through the nostrils. So it's like you're drawing a circle with the breath in through the nostrils, up to the third eye, and exhaling out through the nostrils. This mudra, in addition to all the physical qualities that it said it's beneficial for, water in the body, kidneys, adrenals, bladder, blood pressure, hydration, skin, inflammation. In addition to all of that, it says it brings clarity to the mind, that watery quality of the mind. Keep drawing that circle, inhaling the breath all the way up to the third eye, exhaling out. You're actually going to increase that circle. So your next breath, you're inhaling, touch the space of the third eye, widen that circle so that you drop the breath all the way down to the heart center. And then bring it back up to exhale out to the nostrils. The circle of the breath is now an inhale, touch the third eye all the way down to the heart. Exhale out through the nostrils. Mentally, your mind touches each place as the breath flows through it. So 
You're gonna widen that circle again. So this time as you inhale, you're breathing in, touch the third eye, drop down to the heart, all the way down to the navel, and all the way back up. If you want to mentally stop at the throat in that circle, you certainly can, inhaling up to the space of the third eye, dropping down to the throat, to the heart, to the navel, and all the way back. You're going to widen that circle one more time. So as you inhale all the way, touch the third eye, drop down to the throat, to the heart, to the belly, down through the pelvis, all the way to the root of the spine. And then back up and out. And creating this circle with your breath, inhaling all the way to the third eye, down through the throat, the heart, the navel, pelvis, down to the base of the spine. it's just the mind's attention passing over each of those places. There's no conversation to have. It's just passing through. Notice. You complete your next breath, you exhale the breath out, release the mudra, let the hands rest wherever they'd like on the knees or the thighs. And bring your attention all the way up to the crown of the head, just above the top of your head. And there you are visualizing that there is a source of light, it can be any shape or form that appears to you, appeals to you. but it is a white light that includes all colors, all spectrums. And similar to sort of an umbrella shape, you can imagine from that radiant center is that that light falls all alongside you like a waterfall. It's like you are sitting in the middle of that waterfall. what flows through you and what flows in you. It's that white light, including the whole spectrum. Keeping the attention focused on the space above the head, just above. The mind becomes full of that sparkling light. Reminder to let ourselves feel that concept of things being unified. All colors contained and yet colorless. That's the mind, that's the self, capital S. 
And that's one of the words that's used to describe it is that it's without color. A formlessness that is so inclusive, so complete. We sit within that. You're not separate from it, it moves within you, through you, as you. Relax everything else except that focus on that light. Hands, shoulders, jaw. not changing your mind, you're just filling it with the experience of unity. To be colorless is not devoid of color. To be so complete, you cannot pick out one without seeing all of the others. Take one more full breath in. As you exhale, release the visualization, release the mental focus. Allow yourself to sit for a moment, looking for nothing. And bring your awareness back to your seat. For a moment, open your eyes. So a second mudra for you, mudra kind of day. So this one, Shakti mudra, the thumb comes in towards the palm. First two fingers wrap around the thumb and the knuckles push together on those fingers. And then the ring and pinky fingers form a little tent, tips of the fingers, right? So thumb in. First two fingers wrap around, press the uh, backs of the knuckles or the first knuckles together, and then bring the ring and pinky tips together. Okay. And that can be held right in front of the heart or wherever it's comfortable for you to hold it, it's fine. And again, if you need to switch your seat, switch your seat and find yourself coming back in. 
I want you to do a little mental alternate nostril breathing. So that means that as you're inhaling, you're following the breath in through the right nostril, up to the third eye, exhaling out through the left. And then inhaling up through the left, touch the third eye, exhale out to the right. And then continue to alternate, inhaling through the right, out through the left, inhaling through the left, out through the right. stimulating energy channels with the pranayama. We are stimulating energy patterns with the mudras. Imprinting the mind with something that is outside of its usual experience. Now, alternating the nostrils, following with your mind, this activity of mentally visualizing the path of the breath helps to focus the mind. Let's unite the mind with the breath. They are not two separate things, they are one thing. Don't worry if you lose the pattern, just bring yourself, your attention back to it, in through one nostril, out through the other, and then reverse it up through the opposite nostril, out through the other. Shakti is your embodied energy. I'd say the female aspect of everything, the creative aspect of everything. It's the energy that when it is in motion has the ability to unify our experience, body, mind, soul. Next breath, let go of the visualization. If you'd like to keep the mudra, maintain it. If you're ready to let it go, you're welcome to let it go. And you're visualizing where you're bringing <clears throat> into your attention again, that space of the third eye, some representation of who we refer to as Saraswati. So you can imagine a goddess holding a stringed instrument. You can imagine a beautiful woman riding a swan. Any of those images work. You can imagine simply the symbol of Om. You don't even know that symbol. You can just imagine that there is a beautiful, brilliant, shiny light there, third eye. And the mantra, Om Aim Saraswati Namaha. Om Aim. Saraswati Namaha. You can stick with that one if that one sounds too complicated or the name Saraswati doesn't sit comfortably. Use the mantra Soham. Oh, I'm Saraswati Namaha. Oh, I'm Saraswati Namaha. energy of our inspired mind. And Saraswati is the connection of the mind to the breath. 
and therefore to the depth of your own soul. There is no difference. That's the path the soul takes, breath, mind. She is another tool, another image to unite your experience of what we assume to be separate. Om Aim Saraswati Namaha. Or again, simply Soham, the sound of your breath. Just maintaining the mind's attention, the focus. Whatever the mantra is, whatever the image is, is not important. Maintain attention. Swati, one of her gifts is clear communication, so the inspired mind and the ability to speak truth, recognize truth, eloquence and poetry. Be able to translate the inner world to the outer world. to be willing and able to experience deep states of meditation, Saraswati's gift. Oh, I am Saraswati Namaha. One more breath focused on this place in your mind that is the reservoir and the origin of all of that. We use the name Saraswati to describe, but it's all just within you. And as you release your breath, release the mudra if you are still holding it. Let the hands come to rest. And bring your attention back to that flow of the breath in through the nostrils, like a circle through the body. Letting the mind touch each place, third eye, throat, heart, navel, pelvis, base of spine, all the way out. With the next exhale, let that float away. And feel yourself maybe with no boundaries. Nothing between you and that infinite space, infinite breath.
And let that part of your mind that is aware of space stay aware of space. And bring the hands together in front of the heart center. Give them a little rub, rub your palms. And steady the palms at the heart, pressing the thumbs into the sternum again, tangible connection. And dropping the chin towards your chest. It's an acknowledgement that if you can find space, you can find quiet even once, it means you can find it again. So just practice over and over and over again, helping the mind to find those pockets of space until there is nothing else. And sliding the thumbs up to the space between the eyebrows. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your week until I see you again. If you want to let me know how that went, I'm always happy to hear. If you're ready to scoop. Thank you. Go. You're welcome. Thanks. Good job, Oliver. <laughs> Get so big. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.